All right, so this video is gonna talk about making a code book. So first of all, this is a straight download from Qualtrics. If you're downloading from SurveyMonkey or Google Forms or any other platform, it will look similar, but maybe a little different. There's a lot of columns that we don't need. So start date, end date, that's just when did they start the survey, end the survey, what was the status, how was it recorded, progress, did they complete 100% of it, how long did it take them, did they finish, what was the recorded date, response stuff, this is all stuff about Qualtrics, you can put in uh, email lists, their location, scary stuff, distribution, and what language it was in. We don't need any of this. So that's gonna be step one. Right click, sorry, right click, delete. We don't need those columns. Qualtrics gives you questions. You can see that these are not in order. It depends on how you created the survey and if you moved things around. So don't obsess about that. So for Qualtrics, it gives you a uh, question number, and then below it, it gives you the age. We need these to be one row with our information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this first row, and I'm going to copy them, so control C if you're on a PC. I'm going to go here to a new tab. I'm going to label this code book. Actually, let's start there. And then I am going to right click, paste special, go down to paste special again, and I'm gonna click transpose. And what that does is it changes it from a row to a column. Um, I actually want that to be one lower. So this is going to be my variable name. And this is going to be the item content. So for my item content, I'm gonna go back over here and this time I'm gonna copy this row all the way over, copy, and I'm gonna go right here, right click, paste special, paste special, and transpose. So what you could do now is you could go through and change all of these and say, okay, this is age, this is race, gender, and so forth. And then you could copy all of these, copy them, go back up here to original, right click, paste special, paste special, transpose, and change all your names like that. That's a really easy way to do it. Then I'm going to delete this row because I no longer need it. So now I have all of my information. I can scroll down and see my responses. I have my variable names and I have my code book. These are really nasty. Depending on if you used a matrix or a grid option, this might happen. And so you have to kind of scroll all the way over and actually you still can't see it um, and figure out what it is. So all of that doesn't matter. Please respond to all items. This is my actual item. So I could go through and do this, delete those and clean it up to where I can quickly see what was my item content right here. 